Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to start on a new project. This project came to life when my husband told me that I could make a wall clock just like the one that I got from my grandma. This one, I got that when she died. But I don't want to ruin this clock as it has a big value to me. We took around uh, the city to different uh, secondhand stores and we found a clock that I liked. So I took that apart and my husband helped me to make it into a dollhouse looking like the wall clock that it was. This is not a how-to, but uh, I'm going to walk you through the steps anyway. Maybe you could use it for yourself. So uh, let's get to it. So here is the clock that I was talking about. This is the one we are going to make into a dollhouse. I wanted to leave the original sound in here, but as we were talking way too much, I had to take it all out. I'm sorry about that. I got my husband to help me to take this thing apart, and I was recording at the same time. I want it to look like we never did anything to this clock when it's all done, so we had to salvage a lot of things from it. That was the back side of the clock, and now he's going to take off the front. He's removing the clock hands really careful because we are going to use them for the new clock that we are going to put in there. And now we can take the front of the clock as well. Then we are going to pull out the clockwork from the frame. This way we can release the chain that we need. The little piece he is taking out now is where the pendulum normally hangs and we need that to hang the pendulum when this is all ready. I made a totally new frame for this wall clock and the front of the clock fits perfect to this one. I made this hollow bottom where we are going to put the chain and the piece for the pendulum to hang. I did make a little window in one of the sides and then I made this bottom piece to hang the clock in when it's all done. This is the piece where the pendulum hangs and this was way too long for the new frame. So my husband cut off this little piece where the pendulum hangs so that it is shorter and fits into the new frame. Then we had this little piece that he sanded and he drilled a hole in it. and sanded the hole. I placed a small jump ring in it and he placed the jump ring on a needle that he is gluing to the bottom part of this little frame. First he put the chain back in place and he actually glued that with a little uh, needle in that as well to keep it in place. Here you can see him placing the needle and then gluing it so it won't budge anywhere when the clock is hanging on the wall with the weight and the pendulum. And here you can see him do the other chain. I 
I know it can be hard to see, but here he is placing the little thing for the pendulum with a needle and he's gluing the needle to the box bottom so that this pendular thing is hanging loose and this way the pendulum can still swing from side to side if you make it do so. So now the bottom of the clock looks like this. When the clock is all done it will be able to open and close in the front so here he is making ready to put the hinges onto the frame itself. Then he placed the pieces together with the hinges, opened them and taped the hinges on the front plate of this wall clock. This way he can now mark where every one of these small hinges is going to sit on the front plate. He found some screws that was not too long for the uh, front plate of the clock and he screwed the hinges in place on this front plate. We didn't put the front plate on the frame yet because I am going to make the inside of the room first. Then we took the new clock part and we placed it like you see here and we actually glued it on the back side because this way it was more sturdy and stayed in place. I really don't like these new clock hands so we are going to fix that in a minute because the old one does not fit on this new mechanism. He grinded the clock hands down so that we could use the old one and glue the two parts together. He cut the new clock hands really really short so we only had the connection and just a little part to glue the old ones together with this little new uh, connection part. He did this to both of the clock hands. And used a epoxy glue to glue the two parts together to one set of uh, clock hands. And then my husband placed the front to the frame. After all the screws was placed into their hinges so that the front was secure on the frame, it was time to put on the clock hands on the clock and make sure that it was working. And it worked fine. So now we just hanged it on the wall where I wanted it to and put it all together. I am going to show you a few pictures in a second. The pendulum is not actually swinging by itself but I hanged it so I can make it swing by hand so it looks like the real wall clock it was. In next week I'm going to show you how I made the inside of the clock ready for the little room that I'm going to make in there. Thank you for watching this one and happy crafting!